Collectors. Yes, I'm talking to you, Pokemon collectors and investors. And today we are talking about Astro Radiance Trainer Gallery. Now, I was just doing a deeper dive into some of the the sets, and I wanted to start talking about just Trainer Gallery specifics. And I think that Astral Radiance's Trainer Gallery is real good. And I wanted to talk specifics. Obviously, these top two cards right here, the, the Starmie V with Misty and the Garchomp, have seen huge rises as of late. We'll pull up the charts for those real quick. But I wanted to talk about some of the uh, lesser appreciated cards here. So, we, like, the Garchomp got pumped, right, from 20 to in the 40s, right? And then there's the, the Starmie, 40s into the 50s. I mean, 30s, you know. But uh, let's talk about some of these other lesser cards. Now, I just want you guys to look at these cards right here. Just from an artwork perspective, okay? And tell me that these cards are not amazing, right? We're going to start off first with the uh, Galarian Birds. So you have the Moltres, the Moltres V uh, with the Trainer. You got the Articuno here and the Zapdos, right? So... What's interesting about these cards also is you can pick this up right now on eBay for 40 bucks in a PSA 10, okay? Now you're telling me when you look at this card that this isn't going to be worth more than $40 in a 10 in the future? Come on, right? Then you have the Zapdos, same thing, 45 bucks in a 10, okay? Uh, the most expensive of the three is obviously the Moltres, and this is in Canadian, so it's like 72 bucks, right? Currently currently on eBay, as of this recording. These three as a set, mm, I still think that uh, even though this one's higher, I'm picking up, I've picked up all of these in a 10, uh, because I think they're, they're too good of a value. Let's talk about the box real quick, just for a second. Obviously, uh, the booster box prices, you know, uh, three months ago, we're at 137, and we're at 176 but some of these last solds 195 obviously there's 176 in here but we're in the 180s 190s already on astral also okay here's another sleeper that i wanted to talk about real quick so this is the uh the zation with hop from the game you know from the video game this is a beautiful card 50 bucks in a 10 like i'm just saying all right now let's do uh let's go back a little bit more Obviously, uh, yeah, that is the cheapest on eBay. Let's go back. Let's go back here, and I just want to show off a few more cards for you guys. Okay, let's look at um, the uh, Calyrex Shadow Rider. Just look at this. Look at this artwork, guys. Okay, uh, this card has seen a little bit of an increase. It has it has gone up, and people are starting to appreciate this artwork. But this artwork is great with the trainer flying. I love this card right uh, also this is really cheap in a 10 most of these most of these cards are same thing so i'm gonna we're gonna just look at all these ones real quick oh and there's the other zamazenta i wanted to look at okay so same thing this one hasn't seen as much of an increase and not as nice of a card but just aesthetically beautiful looking card then you have uh this is the ice rider version this one's this one hasn't really seen that much of an increase but same thing i like the trainer like holding on the artwork uh, isn't quite as stunning as some of the other ones but still a cool card and if you start getting like the set of like all of these and this one is super cool i like this one as well maybe not quite as stunning but it's got more of like the the realistic look a little bit going for it uh same thing you guys can see the prices here still super cheap you can pick this up in a 10 for super cheap now there's this card as well if we're talking about the uh the zation here's the zamazenta with hop Okay, same thing. Uh, once again, this can be picked up for just a few bucks. And these are the mascots for the whole era, the, the Sword and Shield dogs. I don't see how these, especially when they can be picked up for $50 and below in a 10, I don't see how these couldn't be, you know, um, $80 in a 10, like worst case scenario in the future, like as the, as the box prices rise. I'm just saying nothing is guaranteed. But um, when you start to look at some of these these artworks, okay, and then let's like let's look at the Kingdra. So we have the Kingdra that's coming out with the new Shrouded Fable um, promo. Obviously, this just saw a pop, but it's still only you know last solds for like a dollar. So 
um, that Kingdra might bring this Kingdra card up as well, but this artwork is real good. You know, it has the yellow borders. Um, the Mighty Anna is cool. The Hoot Hoot is cool. Um, the Cleavor is not the most, maybe the most popular Pokemon, but this artwork is super cool. Um, you know, like, you're in the 70 cents for this card. Um, so... I'm just saying that there's uh, a lot of potential here. And let's see if we even can get into page two and just see. Um, yeah, so there's a few. These are still great looking cards at the end, and there are all 70 cents or less. Now, obviously, these are the, the lesser value cards for a reason. I'm not saying that I'm going to be picking all of these up right now, but because they are lesser desired Pokemon, but the artworks are still great. So my point of this whole entire video is that I just wanted to shout out Astral Radiance's Trainer Gallery. I think the Trainer Galleries are still slapped on overall. I know we'll, I'll dive into some more Trainer Galleries later and uh, from some of the other sets. We'll, we'll start touching on that stuff. But I just wanted to shout this out because I was just doing some diving last night and I was seeing those birds for cheap and a 10. So um, that's when I scooped some up. I already have the uh, Calyrex, uh, almost the full set. I think I have... Yeah, anyway, so I'm working on that just because they're so affordable. And if they don't really pop off in a 10, you know, like that's what I'm getting. If they don't pop off for me, then that's fine. You know, then I didn't put that much money into them. And they're beautiful cards that I will have over here in my case um, to display. And they will make me happy. I'm not talking about dropping $200, $300 on PSA 10s. I'm talking, we're talking some as low as 30 and then up to obviously the the uh Moltres was in like the 70s right so um that that's you can't go wrong there collecting investing whatever you want to do buy multiple copies uh, i like if you can buying three copies one to keep one to flip like more immediately when it pops and then the last one to like flip long term so then if you can and not everybody can do that but i just wanted to make you guys aware that astral radiance uh trainer gallery is nice i like it that's going to do it for this one, guys. If you made it this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, do me a huge favor. You obviously enjoyed the content. Hit the subscribe button while you're there. Hit the thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Leave a comment. Let me know if you're picking up any of these trainer galleries. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.